Hello everyone, it's Elite for you, Mort here. Before I begin this video, I would like to tell you all about why I haven't been posting recently. Um, I know I took like, I think it was almost a year of a break from YouTube. Um, I was just very busy, I couldn't really afford to keep buying Pokemon cards to make these videos. Um, and, I mean, that's essentially the only reason why I haven't been making them. I'm still interested in Pokemon. And I will, hopefully, start to be making more videos in the future. So, today I'm going to be making a video that a lot of you actually requested, and that's how to make your own custom Pokemon packs. Um, the use for these packs could be for a gift. Uh, if you have a friend who likes a certain Pokemon, you could get a bunch of the same card, or similar cards, and put them in a pack for them to open. Um, this is actually a very good gift idea, and it's not at all hard to do. So the things that you'll need are a pair of scissors, uh, some tape, a pen, a pencil, and a bunch of Pokemon cards. Um, I don't have that many here, but as many as you'll need. So before we even begin constructing the pack, you have to decide what kind of cards you want in your pack. So in an average, uh normal pack of Pokemon cards. There are, I believe it's five commons, uh, three uncommons, and two, like one, um, it's a foil. I, I forget what they call them. Here, I'll find one. It's like the foil where it only surrounds the card. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, and a rare. So, in this case, um, I know these are all from, like, two packs, I think. So I'm gonna get one common. Let's see. I'll put an energy in there. Not that nice to my friend, who doesn't actually exist, but... <laughs> Three, four, five, and six. So these are all common cards. So along with these, we're also going to put in uh, three uncommons. If I can find another uncommon. Okay, uh... Here. <laughs> there we go. That's an uncommon. <laughs> okay, so put these in too, with the commons on top. And then, I know that in a normal pack of Pokemon cards, the rare and holofoil are dispersed at a certain point in the pack, but for convenience, we're just going to put them to the back. So I'm going to use the Mr. Mime, and um, I'll go for the Zapdos at the back. So now that you have your stack of cards, you can put this aside. And take your other cards and put those aside also. So now you're going to get your paper and a Pokemon card. So I could make a template, but this is so you can uh, make it yourself at your house. So take your card and you're going to line it up with the edge of your paper. So what you want to happen is you want to have enough to fold over on each side so it completely covers it. So that should be more than the radius of your card. So I'd say uh, about here looks good and we'll have enough on the bottom to fold it up also. So you're going to estimate this amount of space on the other side. So I'd say it's about here. And also above should probably be about here. So now you can remove your card. And to make cutting easier, see we're gonna fold on this line. So fold your paper over against and make it or make the crease against that line you just made in pencil. And also, we're going to do the same thing for the other line. I'm sorry if the lighting is kind of weird. 
I wasn't able to um, get it as good as I was hoping. Um, but you can fold that down also. So now you have your template. It's more, it's kind of a square. Um, another alternative to this, and you can cut it out, uh, but another alternative to this is getting a Pokemon pack um, and opening it carefully so you don't cut off the top or bottom and then just tracing that because that will also fit your cards perfectly. But I don't actually have any on hand right now because I throw them out, so um, we're going to work with this. Okay, so once you have this cut out, we're going to take your card, uh, the one that you used as a test, and fold over each side. Um, you won't, this isn't going to be permanent uh, right now, we're just gauging how much space we're going to have to make a design on the other side. So, I'm sorry if you didn't see that, I'm working from an angle. Uh, but basically, I just folded either side of it over the card. So once you do this, you can flip it over, and you want to get either your pen out, or a marker, or a crayon, or just some kind of drawing supply, I guess. So I'm going to take my pen, and um, you can just make it however you want. So I'm just going to write Pokemon. I know on my other packs that I did in the video, I had them a lot more detailed, like I actually did the Pokemon logo correctly. Um, but for the sake of the video, I'm just going to do something quickly. Sure, that works. Pokemon, um, oh, I need some kind of title. Uh, legends, even though there's only one legend in here. And, um, I don't know, we'll make a picture of a, a Jirachi, I guess. So yeah, I mean, you're, it's this part's really up to you. Uh, whatever you want to uh, make it look like. Um, if you're customizing this for a specific person, then you can do something that they might like. Uh, or if you're just doing this for fun. I mean, you don't even have to decorate them if you're not going to be showing anyone. Um, but it is kind of fun to come up with your own ideas for maybe names of Pokemon, um, like additions or card pack sets or whatever. So they're good enough. We'll just do a little couple stars. <clears throat> so once you have your pack all set, you're going to get your 10 cards and you're going to open up your pack and put them on the inside. Now make sure that before you do this, the uh, ink or whatever that you put on the other side didn't isn't like still wet and bleeding through. So anyway, um, you're gonna take either either flap on each side, put them together, and this is where your tape comes in. So get a long piece of tape, hold each side of your pack together and put the piece of tape down. And this will ensure that it stays tight and secure. Um, and then you can fold either side like this. So it's like a real Pokemon pack. And what I do is I trim each side to be about the same height. Like so. and then take two pieces of tape and put one on each side. Um, so you can also trim off the excess tape from either side and fold it down. And this is just obviously to make sure that the cards don't fall out either side. And we're going to take our other piece of tape and put it on the other side, like so. So then you can just fold it back and forth so it looks like uh, the real edges, and 
then you have your Pokemon pack. So, um, to open it, you just open it like a normal Pokemon pack. There should be a little slit somewhere where you can peel it open. And obviously, if you're worried about ruining the design on the front cover, you can uh, conserve that uh, by just cutting carefully or just taking off the tape. So, was that there before? There's like a little line on my meow. Hang on. Right there. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, but yeah, you can see we have all the cards uh, in order. And this would be a great gift for a friend or anyone that uh, you know that is interested in Pokemon. So, um, thank you very much for watching. Like I said, I hope to be making more videos soon. They may not be too long, and they may not be of Pokemon packs, because, I don't know, I don't really have as much money to spend on them. Um, but if there is a specific request for a video you might like to see, uh, I would probably be alright with doing that. Um, so thank you for watching and have a great day.